What is up gamers? Today we're taking a look at the Tetra Cube. D question mark question mark question mark. You can already see a couple things happening here including something that I wanted to mention. This item kind of works like a weirdo glitch crown flip type deal. If we press spacebar at the right time then we'll be able to choose the item that we want. We will then ruin the Tetra Cube on the top left and we're gonna have to rebuild it back up before we can use it. Now to start off you may have already noticed between that jump cut that the floor got way brighter. <laughs> Sorry for the immersion breaking, I just had to turn up the gamma. I usually play on 100 gamma, but a lot of you guys have told me that you want a brighter gamma, so that's why I play on 130 from now on. Uh, given this burnt penny. Uh, what's in our first treasure room? I kinda want that. Let's see if we can get a tetra cube available. Secondly, just gonna check out the curse room with a perfect diagonal. I know I had invuln frames, but I'm gonna say that I'm sick nasty with it. So this item is part of the Eclipsed mod. And I've seen it quite a few times and with different variations. The reason I found this so interesting when I spawned in and found it is because I had seen the regular version of this item tons of different times. You know how it looks like a fully complete Rubik's Cube and we just saw it? Every single time that I feel like I've played with this mod on, I've seen that item. But I always glance over, I say, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone, I'll, I'll get to it, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll see what it does later on. Well, now's the day, I want to see what it does, however, I guess that these are two different entities. There's this guy, which I have right now, the Tetra Cube. And that item is completely different. It does something different. Uh, but this item is way sicker, so we're gonna run with that. It's just surprising that that decided to show up just then. We also have Soul Heart mods on because I don't know, dude. I just wanted to hear the round. You guys let me know if it adds to your experience. What do we have here? Four extra items flipped over. Uh, let's go take our Tetra Cube to the treasure room and see if those items are a little bit better. So unlike any other item, you you can actually walk in here with a full tetra cube and you'll still have the ability to re-roll. I don't really care about any of this stuff so I'm taking the apple, it's really good. And then in here... I'm gonna take this one. A ton of keys as well, actually. Maybe the holy chest goes uh, crazy mode on me. Definitely seems like it. Burnt penny as well with a double bomb play. Appreciate it. Oh my god, even more bombage. I'm gonna find my secret room. And that is the holy glass chest that we got. A uh, super secret room is guaranteed to be here, no? Like, like quite literally, it has to be here. All right, nice. Double wooden chest gameplay. All the pills in the world. It's time to figure out what they are for the run. Every single day, we vibe check the pills. Are they good? Are they not? Today, they look like complete ass cheekums, but that tears up makes me regret saying that. That was actually pretty humongous. Finally, the shop with a diplopia and a, uh, a donation machine that has no money in it because I'm playing on my second file instead of my first file, so I'm not able to get stopwatch. Okay, well, that's epic. Let's add that to our priority list where I add a bunch of money to the donation machine. <laughs> well, let's fight Little Horn. This should be easy as well. Maybe all these pots somehow. That's that's such a huge cope. What am I talking about? I'm not gonna get 15 cents let's just go defeat little horn ain't no way that's happening even for me just give me the cat of nine tails i'll have to cry about it uh and that should be everything wait actually hold on wait 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 i am coping i can't help it you give me an opportunity to cope i must participate demon's tail Ooh. maybe one of those poops nope definitely not i don't have keys so i guess i'll just buy this and then it, and then that's it this is probably not gonna do anything Yo! Ho, ho. I can't believe how much that paid off. It's definitely not enough, but it actually gave me the dopamine needed for me to feel like I can fully move on from this world. All right, now for Downpour Uno. So with this in mind, we could absolutely mess up like a Glitched Crown and press spacebar at a wrong time, but it does seem like the intervals is a lot slower than Glitched Crown, and there's only four items instead of five. So I think we can handle no matter what. We just gotta lock in just a smidge here. No problemo. If there is an opportunity for me to roll into Polly with the Tetra Cube and I miss it though, I will be furious. Huh? This seems like cheating. <laughs> I'm down though, dude. You're telling me this is Pyromaniac? Okay. It's more than just a Tetra Cube. It actually lets us see blind items. It, well, not blind items, but lets us see what we could roll into from a blind item. I've never before seen that in Isaac, and I will be taking advantage. You can see in the top left there, it actually does gain its cube slowly back over time. The more rooms we clear, so whenever we do it, initially it's going to be like completely demolished. But there, when we do that, you know, we add more cubes and we're building it all the way back. 
back up. Saying the word cube so many times over has made me think of, uh, what, what was the name? Nerd Cubed? Was that their name? It was like a, a British dude who did YouTube. I remember that guy. Oh my gosh. I hope he's still making videos. I love that dude. I used to watch him all the time when like Surgeon Simulator was popular. You guys remember that? That was a wild time. That was honestly a really fun time too. I remember watching like Rooster Teeth play Surgeon Simulator and then I went down a whole pipeline of their Minecraft series and the Tower of Pimps. Oh my goodness. What a crazy scenario. That's a, a huge nostalgia blast for me. Uh, health up pill moment into shop into what the hell are you? Wizard's book which summons two to four random loca. So this is a bit of a drawback. This is interesting. You may be able to a tetra dice the blind items but you can't tetra dice a shop that leads me to believe because i'm pretty sure uh that devil rooms and angel rooms are coded the exact same way that we cannot tetra dice a devil room so with that in mind let's go angels because tetra dicing an angel sounds absolutely nuts so i'd rather not activate clown activity and uh not take full advantage of this very overpowered dice okay breakfast wait a second i'm stupid <laughs> <laughs> it's not the fact that we can't. I just literally don't have a full Tetra Dice available. Well, with that in mind, the, you know, same logic still applies. I don't want to go to the devil without a reroll. Final order of business is this super secret room, which I will also be blowing up tons of rotten hearts on this entire run so far, which is really good. Some form of passive DPS whenever we don't have chocolate milk available is always going to be sick nasty with it. Let's get our gamer on on the next floor. Curse of Envy. What? What is that? Who are you? <laughs> Do I- wait a second. Oh, wait, 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 wait. The slow is down. Do I have multiple mods on? I'm pretty sure I just have the Eco Eclipse mod on. For the Tetra Dice, I don't think I left something else on. So I guess Eco Eclipse provides extra curses? I have no clue what this curse does for us. Maybe we can do a bit of deduction and figure it out as long as we go for the floor. It's always a bit fun trying to deduce what's happening. Yeah, let's do it, dude. Do I get a key drop? Maybe? No. I really want to test if the Tetra Dice works inside of shops now. Especially since we have the knowledge that I'm just a bozo. And potentially, it actually does work. I uh, just completely whiffed on that fact. Let's find a key if we can. Oh, there you go, key. While humming the downpour song, it must be my lucky charm. Oh my goodness, it does work. Wait, I can still get stopwatch. <laughs> wow, all right. I mean, dude, I want habit though, man. Okay, here, here's the real play. The mega brain play is actually by habit what just happened. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Curse of envy. I mean, I have to imagine that's the only thing that made that happen. My real plan was, oh, we buy the habit because it's good with the Tetra Dice. And then, you know, we steam sail. Buy those reverse cards because those look juicy. Oh, it's going to be a wonderful time. Nope. Curse of Envy has bound us over. I need another key. I really need to get inside that treasure room. At least we know what just happened. Probably. Like, it seems like that's the reason why. And we have a Tetra Dice available for the item room, which also seems really good for us. Go ahead and die real quick. Another soul heart. Because Tetra Dicing the treasure room seems like just an absolute nuts option, you know? Walk in a treasure room, have access to eight items, and you can just pick whatever you want? That's kind of crazy. Oh, wow. This just works with everything then. And my bad for what I said earlier, devil rooms are definitely on the table. Do I want anything here? Flip is crazy. I don't know what that nail item is. Uh, euthanasia's nuts. I do have spun progress. I Yeah, I think we will. Like, give me the euthanasia because it's too three spun it's a crazy item and i will get one more tetra dice available i'm certain for the treasure room as we move along all i gotta do is a bit of the mirror dimension oh there's the key we need this does beg the question though does tetra dice work on story items I want to say no, but every single piece of logic that I've thrown at this item has been thrown out the door. It seems to work on actually everything, including blind items, so... <laughs> now you got me concerned. There's no way we're getting another roll here. I'm just going to complete the floor, save some time. Let's go check out the knife piece one afterwards. See if it is compatible. If it's not, then we definitely roll the regular treasure room. A hey, fun fact, tap shooting if you hit all of your shots is actually more DPS with chocolate milk than charge shooting. That doesn't mean that it's better, it's just, you know, if you're unbelievably cracked, I guess. I don't know what that angry dude is doing there, but, you know, a range up is a range up, whatever. Do you work? Oh, oh my god, it, it looks backwards too, it looks so weird, what the hell? <laughs> Okay, all right. The 2020 Meister has arrived. No Tetra Cube for this treasure room. It doesn't matter. I got 2020 from the other one. This item actually has no restrictions. It works on everything somehow. Oh my god, I thought I lost the cube. 
that freaked me the hell out. I thought I like put down the cube and it turned into three nuggets. <laughs> no, I guess this is just, you know, this is what it looks like. Uh, scooper, Crooked Penny, not too useful. Bit disappointing, but the 2020 pickup is humongous. I don't know why, but I always associate 2020 with downpour. Like I always find 2020 on downpour. So finding this bad boy just made me feel so freaking good. Last thing to check, even more pills. I'm just gonna take the ones that I know are gonna be good or I don't know what they are. Bombs are key and that's it let's go rainmaker fight done i got an angel and wait i'm playing nasty today okay dude we're running for as long as we can a plus one damage up from constellation prize never happens that's insane i never get to see that la biblioteca from the angel room is whatever i don't think we need it let's just freaking go down yeah i know biblioteca is actually library in spanish but i just like saying it flooded caves here we are i'm always appreciative of a day where we get a bunch of flooded floors downpour downpour two flooded caves whenever that happens i know it's gonna be a good day guys the vibes are immaculate vault in here oh my god what did i just say it just makes sense with my brain oh my god quite a powerful vault actually that's real good i'd say the weakest part of this run so far is actually the health aspect which hasn't been too necessary to be fair we have perfection i've not been getting hit but as a bit of a safety net wow this is weird it's a flooded caves room but it's uh not flooded so it, it has this weird texture this seems really rare actually anyway yeah as an added measure it'd be really good especially since i'd love to play sack room and i'm gonna need more health for that just some extra soul hearts if you decide to uh, provide me with such things not necessary oh my goodness gracious me Okay, so I have 2020 Mutant Spider Power Mania, <laughs> and I think every good thing that could happen has happened. My stats are crazy. My build is crazy. I, I have no complaints on Earth. My Tetra Cube is also available. Is there anything in here? No. I definitely prefer more keys than bombs. Let's Moon Card out, and I, I would TP way further than I thought I would. To be fair, I'm just gonna murderize you forever alone moment. I'm so glad forever alone is in this game, by the way. Isaac paying homage to older memes just makes it feel like I'm always at home, dude. I'm always gonna have a soft spot for that kind of stuff. You know, before I continue on, I guess I was next to the shop. Let's just see what was happening in here. Oh, hey, 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 there you go. We got a steam sale. But do I even want the steam sale now that we got the more options? Here's the thing. More options works with the Tetra Cube. I'm now gonna have the ability to choose from, what is this? 4, 8, 12 plus 3 is 15. Holy moly, mathematician moment. 15 items per treasure room? <laughs> Okay, treasure rooms are the next biggest priority, most definitely. At this point, angels and devils have fallen off from whatever the... What the hell is this? I'm just gonna leave that room alone. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are doing there, but I don't want none of it. Uh, from the meta, like, why else would I do that? I could be getting 15 or at least, you know, 10 items per treasure room. Jesus Christ. That has just got to be the correct decision. Mom moment, here we go. Goodbye to you. Wow, my <laughs> damage is a little bit crazy. Slightly insane. And because I want to take advantage of the more options, double blind moment. Let's go in here. No magic mushroom. That's fine. Let's go down. Now, by heading to Ash Pit, I understand. I signed the contract. I agree to the terms and conditions that I will probably be losing perfection today. And that's all right. I accept it. We're just going to go as far as we can. Cannot forget that we have habit. There's been a few times I could have abused it, but again, the main thing I want to do right now is just stock up on health. I'd love to use Tetra Cube habit later on, like the chest or something. Not right now, especially when I have Curse of the Unknown. Like, that's not happening. Okay, what's cooking in here? Dr. Fetus is pretty good, but soy. Isn't soy choco, like, universally bad for some reason? Like, it's just not good. Here's my play. The actual play is this. Like, th this is going to be crazy good. There you go. I'm almost certain that soy choco milk is, like, actually not too incredible even though in theory it should be like a god synergy you know when you like combine technology and tech x and you just get like a really cool looking synergy and it gives you a damage up not so much with those two i feel like that should be a thing it kind of balances out the damage overall and it doesn't feel too good to play that or i you know i'm misremembering the synergy but either way the kane's other eye spamming like this will go nasty with it i'm much more happy with this i'm also very unhappy that i know i'm about to fight gideon so say your goodbyes say your prayers because perfection is not lasting more than five minutes. <laughs>
What's in here? Oh, wow. Okay, okay. All right. I see your game. I'm down to clown. What was in here? Mystery gift? Okay, let's do a bit of experimentation here. If we get mystery gift, and then we're like, haha, give me mystery gift. <laughs> and we go in here, and we go boom. And then I get whatever, blood V. When you enter a room, summons bat familiars. They will attack any enemy that approaches you. Taking damage summons extra bats for 8 seconds. Very cool item, not necessary for me. And let's just say, hypothetically, in terms of game theory, I were to, oh, I don't know, uh, get another charge. Could I potentially tetra dice this anyway? Uh, let's find out. We do have a guaranteed roll. Also, he dropped an item, which is crazy good for us. If this works out, I'm about to get 8 secret room items, and I guarantee you one of them is going to be rock bottom. Just had to go on a bit of a detour for that bad boy reroll. My fault, gamers. What's going on in here? It absolutely works. I can't believe it. And I cannot believe that I actually did not get rock bottom. Anything else? Not really. <laughs> is it weird that I wanted to get like the red key? What is the red key stacked with? Is it straw man? Should I take straw man? I haven't had straw man in forever. Come here, straw man. I missed you, buddy. I'm going to take you to the very end of the game, if possible. Let me uh, guess this ultra first, though. Honest to goodness, I think the only logical place is here. Whoa, got him. And we get Mob the Void as our reward. Big fan of you, thank you. Hit the diagonal. Surprisingly, I thought I got hit, but it was actually Strawman, so we're good. In the clear, soul heart. Oh, I can't? Oh, we're good. I thought I couldn't, but <laughs> it was just Strawman again. All right, well, a free Mob the Void by pressing spacebar in the secret room sounds good to me. Let's uh, make like Shaggy and Scooby-Doo and get out of here. Nice, all right. Now, I suppose we did already get a deal, so there's no reason to deny it. Definitely don't want to activate Bonobo Ape Isaac a gameplay brain. Let's just see what's inside. We got Backstabber, which is definitely the most hyped thing here. Luckily, my Tetra Cubes are not that incredible. Otherwise, I would have felt like I missed out. I don't really know why they're costing money either. Like, what? Uh, oh, it's Straw Man. Okay. Well, that makes sense. Don't give him items. I'm just going to keep him along because it's fun like that. Let's just take the backstabber and then go. Dag Depths 2 Straw Man is 2 HP out of 3. We got to find you a bit of coinage, dude. There you are. Go ahead and take that real quick. So with Straw Man on the team, I cannot exactly guarantee that I'll have a lot of money by the end of this run. So I don't want to go Dark Room. I'd much rather end up going uh, to the chest or something. So I don't have to end up personally paying like, uh, I don't know, like 45 cents for a Brimstone. Definitely don't like the sound of that. So let's avoid it. All right, here we go. The legendary 15 item, uh, just kidding, 10 item room. And of all of these, I don't know what that heartbeat one is, but uh, obviously Jacob's ladder is consistently good. I know what it does, so hand it over. Wait a second, can't I at least do this, you know, just because why not? At least give him something, you know? Yeah, all right. Optimization station right here, guys. Nothing but Mega Isaac gameplay rigging to the max. Let's see, another shop. Oh my god, all right. You are a little bit too kind. Again, no dono machine to rig there. But part of it almost feels a little bit honest. Is that weird to say? Like, if I don't have a dono machine to just blow up whenever I want money, it feels almost better. Uh, Filigree Feather, no. And then I don't want seven seals. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, stopwatch, I guess I'll blow up my donation machine. But when you remove that from the factor and from the equation, just like Einstein, feels like I'm really working for it. That being said, that doesn't mean I don't like blowing up my donation machine for money. <laughs> I just consider the dono machine after you hit 999, literally like an ATM. Let's be real. It's an ATM and you know it and I know it and we've all just accepted it. Okay, I'm expecting some big plays here. A potential devil room with a brimstone reroll? No, but a soul heart and then all of this stuff kind of sucks but i can actually go ahead and take the negative since straw man will take the polaroid as long as straw man doesn't die i can go to the chest <laughs> this will put even more pressure on me to make sure this man does not die we are getting you to the end of the game it's kind of like a little bit of a side quest for me i've always kind of enjoyed it you know you pick up straw man can you get the man to the very end of the game why the hell do i find the boss this fast this really is a lucky run guys finding womb boss this fast does not happen to me i am glad i I, oh, straw man, you're gonna bone me over, aren't you, dude? There's gonna be like a brimstone or something. Oh! No, wait, straw man is the goat. <laughs> straw man. No, I, I should. I should. Oh, I should. I hate you. He is definitely not the goat. I thought that like I could be like, oh, wow, 15 cent brimstone. Let's go. Nada. Nilch. Zero. Not happening. I guess when you touch the cube, it'll just update the price. Yeah, that makes sense. God damn it, dude. I really did think I was cooking in that moment. Freaking god damn it. 
Well, if you're wondering why I decided to actually end up full clearing the entirety of Utero 1 despite finding the boss early, it was to cope and see if maybe I could have found a way to uh, TP myself back to the boss. Uh, stunning, absolute breaking news. Do -do 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 -do. I could not. Time to go. I did find a hermit card, however, and I'm going to use it just to TP somewhere. Get the ball rolling. It looks like I'm going back to spawn. Never mind. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm just trying to find the boss. Double range up is pretty sick nasty. And this... I mean, if I'm lucky, this is it. It does seem like this is the case. Jacob, whoa. Hello. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'll take the pop. That's pretty good. Thank you. Especially with all the tears I'm shooting. This is uh, going to go crazy. And I do think this is the way the boss It is. Okay, all right. A little bit of a morale booster. Something to say, though. Like, 100%. Uh, dude, I've never seen double saw before. That is hilarious. <laughs> I love I love this. This is good. Double Saul is good. Yeah, something to mention is that I am kind of playing crazy a little bit. Thoughts? Yes or no? I got perfection this entire time. I have not dropped. Straw Man has definitely been hit a couple times, but you know, we don't have to worry about that guy after what he did to me. Do you know how much I sacrificed? Okay, well here we are. Isaac's fight should last no time. I- what the hell is going on? <laughs> I was just hitting him really fast and then- Okay, I didn't know that the solve heart also affected Isaac. That's hilarious. Here we are. This is the big one. What we were waiting for. This is where we get broken. What do we got? Satanic Bible? No, thank you. What is this? Brim? Maybe? Conjoined? Nah, not so much. Uh, I don't see anything too much there. And I don't see anything too much here. <laughs> what do I even want? Okay, you know what's crazy as well is that they're not synced. I, I didn't think this could happen, but they're literally not synced whatsoever. I guess I'll go for conjoined joined I, I don't know if i walk out and walk back in can i tetra dice them again is that like a bit of a cope maybe you know maybe we just won't take the items yet hold on could you imagine i get to do it multiple times over that would be nuts okay i don't know why i could find the bosses so fast today that was just complete luck but it's good to know that you're there hi blue baby how you doing I guess I could get spun. It's a bit, like, not too crazy. But a transformation is a transformation, and it is a damage up. The speed is necessary, and we can just go for even more now. Okay, well, I feel stupid. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting hardcore trolled. Well, how about you guys? You agree? I'm seeing it in real time currently. What's going on here? Who set me up? <laughs> What if I decided instead to drop what I was doing and... Oh, listen, immediate value is immediate value no matter how you spin it. Let me, let me just see. Like, can I even get a pickup and put it in the secret room? If possible, I'll participate. It's just not the highest on my priority list right now. Hold on. It's crazy to me because this Tetra Dice is so broken because you could just see what you could have gotten. You don't have to commit. Like, this smelter, when I have a full Tetra Dice, I'll walk in the secret room. And if it's worth it, I'll do it. If not, I won't. No problem about it. You know, there's no risk at all. It's crazy. For the starting room, uh, we got the tech dice, tech two, and here. Oh, that's key. If nothing incredible shows up, that'll probably end up being what do we get. So what was the secret room? Ah, well, I think the only logical answer is genuinely get dad's key. I mean, like, how could I not? Give it, man. We can go ahead and defeat blue baby super easily. Plop down the dad's key. Plop it open, and then take the tech D6. Do I have a passive item just sitting around somewhere? I do have you. So sure, use it. We get fast bombs back. And then let's go. We should be able to kill this guy real fast. The backstabber damage is uh, actually like borderline overpowered. As you can see here, with only 10 base damage, as long as we're shooting enough times, with our high tier rate, like nothing survives actually here. By definition, melting damage. My favorite type of damage. Look at it go, dude. This is the type of damage that does insanely well against the Lyrami as well. So it's a question of will he spawn today? I am curious for the answer. We did manage to get Strawman all the way to the end. So we did complete our goal. Unless the Lyrium Void Portal spawns, it did. It's not over. You're coming with me. It's just weird that- Oh! What kind of what? Hello? What? <laughs> I have never before seen death certificate drop on the void like that. Don't worry, guys. I know what you want. I'm atoning for my sins. Come here. Oh, is it you? Really? No way. Is it like, what the hell? <laughs> Isn't the starting room two rooms above me? Is that literally a one room away delirium fight? Am I crazy? That is insane. Dude, these void floors have been getting nuts. The amount of travel time from starting room to boss delirium has been getting like lower and lower by the day. Strawman is not surviving this, by the way. Yeah, definitely not. He's, he's a goner. 
<laughs> there you go. The face form finally showed up, so I one-shot him. That's fine, because you know what? The arc is complete. I managed to get back Brimstone when everything else seemed like it would never have happened again. And Straw Man paid for his sins. That was the Tetra Cube. Way more broken than I was thinking it would have been. <laughs> and GG's.